Hi, I'm Laura Coyle, and today I have a lesson from my Recolor Artwork in Illustrator course. This one is about the Color Guide panel, which is kind of a mysterious panel that's often overlooked, but it's actually pretty useful for making color palettes. So let's take a look. In this lesson, we're going to look at the Color Guide panel, and this is another way to create color groups and color combinations in Illustrator. And this panel is usually found right behind the color panel. But you can also open it by going to the window menu and choosing color guide. I'm going to switch now to a color workspace that I created so it's easier to see all of my color panels at once for this lesson. So to use the color guide, you have to give it a base color and then it will generate color combinations from that base color. Right now, I just have the default white fill active on my color panel. I'll go to my swatches and just click on some other colors. So you can see that with each color I choose, the color guide creates a new combination based on that chosen color. Now I'll choose this orange swatch here. And if you want to follow along, I'm using the default RGB colors. And this is that middle shade of orange. So now orange is the base color. And because of that, it's the first color in the order here. And so if you think of this little set of colors here as a potential color group, that is if we decide to save it at some point, the first color in the group is the base color. In any color group you create, when we get into recoloring and editing, Illustrator is going to treat that first color as the base color. And we'll see how that comes into play in a little bit. These other colors next to the base color are generated by the color guide panel by applying a color harmony rule. And these are presets that you can select from this menu here. So our current harmony rule is set to tetrad. And you can see it's highlighted in the menu here. So this preset gives you three other colors based on that orange. And there are many other presets I can choose from here, like there's monochromatic 2, which generates four other colors. And there are more harmony rules that are all based in color theory. So there's analogous and split complementary, all of these things that take me back to art school. Let's try right complement, which generates five other colors. And notice the colors that we see across the top, starting with the orange on the left, moving to this blue on the right, those are also displayed in this center column below, going from orange to blue, top to bottom. So the center column has the color combination based on orange and that current harmony rule right complement. And then as we move to the right, that same combination appears in each column with progressively more white added to it, creating tints that get lighter as you move away from the center. And likewise, on the left, there are shades darkening progressively as we move to the left. To change these columns, you can go to the little flyout options menu and choose color guide options. And here you can add more columns on either side of the center. And you can just change the number here, go all the way up to 20 to get a lot of variations. I'm just going to go back to four. And you can change the variation between the steps. Right now, the variation is at its highest, 100%. But you can lower this percentage to make those steps more subtle. OK, I'll go back up to 100 and click OK. So right now, we're seeing shades and tints of the color harmony. But if we go back to that Options menu, we can change that right here to Warm and Cool. And there's also Vivid and Muted. So I'll go back and choose Warm and Cool again. Now, as we saw in the last lesson, there's a button here in the lower right that'll save the colors in the center column as a group. So now we have it on our Swatches panel. And if you want to save any of these variations, you can just drag individual colors right to your Swatches panel. You can also, of course, drag them right into a color group if you want. And if you want to make a color group from a selection on the Color Guide panel, and here I'm just going to use the Command key on a Mac, Control key on a PC to select a number of non-contiguous colors, then I'll click the Save as a Color Group button on the Color Guide panel. 
and that saves them as a group to my swatches. Now it also resets the color guide panel. So now it's based on these colors that I just selected for my group. And so now the base color is that first color in the group. But I can go back to where I was. I'm just going to click on that same orange swatch to reset the base color. And then from the harmony menu, I need to go back and select that same rule there, right complement. Now I want to talk a little bit more about the base color. So as I said before, the base color is the first color in a color group. And whether I go to my color panel and mix a new color, or I go to my swatches panel and select a color swatch, the color guide panel will update based on that new base color. I'll just click on this beige swatch. So now this first color is the beige color I just chose. So let's say you want to change the base color to one of the other colors in this new harmony. Let's say this color, the lavender. Now if I click it, the color guide panel doesn't change. I can see in the color panel, it's now the active color in this file, but if I want the color guide panel to recognize it as my new base color, I have to go to this box here just to the left of my color harmony. When I click the lavender in the box here, it switches it to the base color and now we have a new harmony based on that lavender and the right complement rule. What if there's some art on your artboard and you select an object that you want to use a color from, you'll then need to go back to the color guide panel and click the same base color button. So you can see it's teal because that's the active color I just chose from my artboard and then you click the button to make that teal the new base color. Now one last button on the color guide panel I want to show you is here in the lower left, limit to library. And this comes in handy if you're using say a Pantone book for example and you want the color guide panel to give you color that you can reference in one of your Pantone books. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Check out my website, lauracoilcreative.com for more information on my membership, which includes courses, community, and live calls every month. And thanks for watching.